Hello everybody viewers. Got a little bit of a different view today. We are outside. Well, there we go. Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So, as I like to to say here, one second. Just get this on mute. Whatever who that is. So, as I like to say here, I always spend the first five minutes explaining what it is that I'm doing and why I have the title that I do. But first, hello and welcome. And especially the replay viewers, welcome. I do appreciate you. I was following my stats yesterday. I did a four minute and uh, 40 second update. And that's actually what brought up the topic that I'll talk about today. Uh, besides just updating my, my, my trip to Europe. So uh, I did a four minute update and I actually had more replay viewers than I had regular viewers. I thought that was very interesting. And of course I do notice it when you as a replay viewer follow me. So I just wanted to say thank you yet again. That was the message yesterday. Thank you to the followers. Thank you to those who have supported me. Uh, that's that's people that have said, hey, I'm interested in what you're doing before you even do it. Um, obviously, when I get to Europe, it'll be a little, it'll be easier to track a crowd when you got the main sites in your scope. So, uh, in the beginning of the of the first five minutes of these updates, I always like to share what it is I'm doing. However, today I only have 15 minutes, so I will try to breeze through this quickly. I will share my information, and then we will I'll move forward. So, uh, what it is is I'll be landing in Stuttgart, Germany. Welcome haircuts. I'll be landing in Stuttgart, Germany in six days time and I'm going to drive to Rome, Italy from there. I'm really hoping that my noise cancelling headphones keep loud trucks like that out of the uh, out of the audio. So I'll be landing in southwest Germany and then I'm going to drive to Rome. Along the way I'm going to scope Switzerland, the Swiss Alps, Milan, Italy, Rome. I'll, I'll also uh, scope Verona, Italy on the way back. And then in Germany I'll scope Stuttgart, Germany and Heidelberg, Germany. These are all in the state of Baden-Württemberg. And I may actually go to uh, go to Bavaria, Bavaria. M. Scott, if you if you have an opinion about the trip, uh, usually these open chats are about Rome. However, today I just wanted to share an update. I only have 15 minutes and talk about a specific topic, a specific topic that has to do with the title. Welcome for the for the one who just joined. So what I'm talking about is just updates, telling people what it is, Lewis, that I'm doing with my trip. I'll be going to to Europe and I'll be driving, taking a road trip and I'm taking it to Periscope. Uh, I think it'll be interesting just because I am an outsider. I'm from the U.S. I also think that it'll be interesting to bring uh, English to the channel because we do have some people in Rome that are, that are scoping but none of them are scoping in English. So I thought that'd be fun. I thought that'd be interesting. So that's the purpose. Uh, that is the short and narrow of what it is that I'm doing. I actually managed to keep it in just a, a few minutes time today which is a little bit shorter than usual uh, I always plug my time my uh, information in at the end of the the quick very very short version of what it is that I'm doing just because if you are a replay viewer you don't have to invest the whole 15 minutes to, to listen to maybe people that don't even show up for the chat uh, so I will plug my information and I noticed something in the camera just now and that's actually the topic I want to talk about there we go. That's my information. If you want to be a part of the discussion, you can get a hold of me at any of these avenues, particularly Twitter or Instagram. Sorry for the wind noise. So, uh, first things first, before I bring up the topic that was on my mind, I will say that I can really appreciate these wide angle lenses. Obviously, I cannot sit this close to an iPhone and have me and background in the picture. It is sunny Florida. Today it's sunny. You got like uh, one cloud right there. Uh, I really do appreciate those. I actually have a new one coming in today, and hopefully that'll get rid of the uh, the ring that you see right here. Hopefully it'll get rid of that ring. Welcome, Dallas. So, Dallas, I was just updating people about my Europe trip next week, starting in six days' time. Uh, the topic that I want to talk about, I actually scoped yesterday. I scoped as I was walking from my car. I was scoping through the, tr the parking lot, and I was updating, updating, updating as I was in line here at this same Starbucks that I'm sitting at. Uh, because I was in quite a bit of hurry yesterday, my scope was four minutes long. What I noticed when I was watching the replay, and I noticed it while I was live, is that people people don't want to be on video. People don't want to be in, in a picture. People don't want to be in a frame. People get nervous when they're in a camera frame. And, and the two things that came to mind there was, one, I'm not turning on the camera for you and yours. If I was, I'd be pointing it straight at you. And the second thing that came to mind was cameras have been on phones for, you know, 15, 20 years. Not popular, but they've been on phones for a long time. FaceTimes existed for for Apple for several, several years. So I'm, I'm amazed on how specifically the people in this particular area are uncomfortable with someone being on video. 
So I thought that was a very interesting thing. Welcome. I was just talking about something that happened yesterday when I was updating everyone. I noticed I was getting a lot of looks because I was at Starbucks. And um, that, that doesn't change today. I've been setting up my camera for the past 10 minutes, trying to get a good angle, trying to get my title going good, looking and see who else is on scope. And people have been looking. People have been looking like, is he going to videotape me? Um, and, and the funny thing is, if you look at it from a, a legal standpoint, this is a public place. There is zero expectation of privacy. That means that if you're here and you, you talk about your personal information, you can yell your social, you can do whatever you want. There's zero expectation of privacy because this is a, a public place. So from a legal standpoint, I have every right to be you know on a video. But that's not necessarily what I was worried about. What I was amazed by was how people are still shocked. How people are still shocked. And I think it just has to do with this area, the area that I'm in, because I've scoped other places and people didn't seem to mind. Um, I just think I think it's interesting. That's a very interesting standpoint. Jenny, I haven't seen you in a couple weeks. Or has it been a week? It's been a little while, right? It is, it's weird. I, I think I watch people from around the world. I, th I think us Americans have it worse than most places. I think us Americans have a little bit worse than most places and what I'm curious to know is is if it is going to be any different when I'm in Europe I, I really think I watch a lot of European scopers I don't I don't see them having a hard time I don't see people giving them the look I, the only person I've ever heard of giving someone a hard time he was German he was he was pretty upset that someone had periscope on uh, but it's, it's just it, it brings an interesting point about because from a legal standpoint I'm in the right uh, but also I don't like to make people uncomfortable there's a reason I'm not sitting inside I could sit inside. It's it's hot today. It's like 81 degrees, um, and it's nice and air conditioned inside. And the music's nice. The ambiance is nice. The this this is a particularly nice Starbucks. Um, however, I do it in consideration because you know I don't want people in line to keep looking back and seeing that they're on a video. So I do the best I can to be sensible with it. But at the same time, you know I'm I'm just shocked that people are amazed by video in the first place. We have haircuts coming in and out. Haircuts. If you have something to say, you can talk. It says M Scott. M Scott. If you want to say something. Jenny, I'm going to. I'm pretty excited about about landing. Sorry, it was a nice motorcycle, but he's driving like an idiot. So um, I'll be scoping in just six days. See, see, I'm looking forward to that. I think Germans, I think Europeans in general are more progressive. I think it's just this area people are kind of stuck in the, you know, stuck in the 90s. So it's it's, but you'll notice, you'll notice. I, I've been. I do look. I've been watching. You notice here? They're leaving. They're leaving. You see it? They're leaving. That's because they're in the frame. They weren't in the frame when I turned the camera on, so they shouldn't have sat there, I guess. Um, so it, it's it's very it's an interesting dynamic, and I'm just wondering where it is that I'm going. Favorite country that I visited? Zach, it depends on what you're asking about. Overall, it's probably it's probably Vietnam. It's probably Vietnam. Uh, but my favorite country worldwide is likely Germany, because I think German the German people get taken care of. I think they're, they're very well taken care of. Um, I like the efficiency. I've been This is the third time I'm going to Germany. But uh, the reason I like Vietnam is because I like street culture. I like to be able to get somewhere. I like to be able to walk. I like, uh, you know, I like the street vendors. I like street food. I like open markets. So, so I like that, you know, Vietnam for that reason. Of course, I want to visit Sweden. I was... Um, I always watch my replay, so I remember when you was in in the in the chat there, and uh, of course I've been thinking about it. But unfortunately, this itinerary, as far as the places that I go, that's already set. Uh, the The reason I have these open chats usually is because there's a little bit of flexibility as to where I go. So usually, like I'll ask people where they want what they want to see in Rome because I have a week in Rome, so I can I can be flexible. If people want to see something, I can go see see that. William, you noticed I've. Uh, I've, I've ignored your first comment. I don't. I don't speak the language, buddy. I, I do speak English, however, American English. I could. I could try to chat with you. But one thing that I've been into, and, and Jenny, I didn't get a chance to ask you, but I've been asking someone else. She's from. Um, she's from a, also from Italy. In what regard, Zach? In what regard? Because there's a lot of things to consider there. Do do you have something in particular you you're concerned with, like public transportation or food or or in what regard? How are I'm I'm good, I'm great in the states. It's warm, so last week uh, it was 60 degrees Fahrenheit, and today it's going to get up to nearly 90 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm pulling up my other phone here to see what that translates to in Celsius. Everything works out great there. I'm sorry, I've lost the context, Jenny. 
I'm sorry. But, Jenny, what I was starting to say before you asked that question, um, today it's going to be 26 degrees Celsius, but, like, last week it was, like, 16 degrees Celsius. So it's the weather fluctuations. It's very. It feels. It feels hot today, even though it's not that much hot. Okay. To be honest with you, I um, I don't have. The, the difference really is, is that anyone will talk to you in the United States. Uh, but but that's not always the best thing. That's not always the greatest thing. Uh, I like Europe better for that. I like Europe better for that. Oh, I've, one, two, three. So, I um, I, I was in the middle of an update before answering a few questions here. I'm getting these people are people are trying to follow my personal uh, Instagram account. I don't know how this happens. They'll see my my periscopes and then they'll go to my personal Instagram. I have a, a public Instagram they could follow. So, uh, we have people that are jumping in and out. What the whole topic I want to talk to is just this 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 feeling that I get in America that I'm invading people's privacy when I'm on video and I'm curious to know if that's going to be different in Europe so um, that's I, I'm not gonna leave this as an open chat I didn't label this as an open chat in the title because I have to go in four minutes uh, however it's just it's, it's just food for thought something that was on my mind um, and just something I wanted to bring up on the channel and you guys get to see it because these are gonna go on my YouTube so you guys get to see it now and then then when I get to Europe we'll see how it, it plays out I think people are welcome in the United States. I think people are welcome to to meet a stranger. I think they're they can meet you and then find an entrance off the bat. Uh, I think in Europe, people, for example, when I went to when I go to Italy, I've been to Italy twice already. This will be my third trip. And when I went to France, in America, a salutation, just a way of saying hello, just a way of saying hello. For us, it's saying hi, how are you? That's just a salutation. All it is is just a way of saying hello. It's kind of ungenuine, and you can answer how you are or you don't answer how you are. You can just say hello back. That'll be okay. When you go to Europe, if you say, hi, how are you, what you may get sometimes is they're going to say, you don't mean that question. You don't mean, you don't actually want to know how I'm doing. Because if I told you the truth, you know, you may be sad, you may be upset, you whatever, but you don't mean the question. So I think European CS is, we lack genuine, we're not genuine. Um, but in Europe, for Americans that go to Europe, they think, well, these guys are kind of harsh, kind of mean, kind of too straightforward. Um, it, it's just about personal preference. For myself, I would rather someone be honest and straightforward uh, because I think it builds better relationships than be what I consider to be fake in the United States. Because a lot of what we do is just for the face. It's not actually genuine. So that, that's how I compare the two socially. Um, it, it's, it's an interesting experience, and I don't think it's one that people can have much an opinion about unless you've experienced both because to be honest it could be quite annoying when people get it you know when some Americans are a little bit too much into your privacy yeah it, it's personal preference some people would rather that I mean it's if you're here to make friends with strangers then it's a great place to be but people will have an opinion about your private matters and that's that can be an annoying part of our culture so uh, I, I really didn't expect to stay on more than 15 minutes. I have been on for 14 of those minutes. I just, I, at the beginning of this, I don't actually know when you, you popped in, Franks. But at the beginning of this, I updated what it is I'm doing. I always do at the beginning of these scopes. This one was about 15 minutes long. So if you want to hit the replay and go to the beginning, uh, basically I'll be scoping Europe when I go there from an American's perspective. And I'll be sharing that. I'll be bringing English to the, ta to the channel. So if you want to follow that, hit the follow button. I do these, usually I'll do an open chat. I'll actually let people talk about what they want to see in Rome. Uh, today I just had something on my mind. I always like to talk, you know, just say hey about the trip. And just, I just wanted to plug about my, my new uh, wide angle lens that's coming in and just talk about this interesting experience that I had yesterday. So I got to cut it really, really short today and if not really wait for anybody to pop in the chat. Uh, but if you want to hit the follow button, you can join our live chats in the future, or you can always just tweet me. I appreciate you staying to the end. If you are watching the replay, that's six days from now. Six days. That's next Saturday. I will fly out. I will start scoping from the United States. I will scope the uh, airport. So I'm gonna the, the scope trip starts right here in the U.S. Uh, that I'm gonna take you all the way along the way. I'll probably scope the airport I land to in Stuttgart, Germany, and I'll just be scoping often, every often, at least 10 to 15 minutes each scope, sometimes up to a half hour. Um, until I get to a bigger site, maybe I'll keep it on for about an hour. So 
We'll see you guys on the other side if I don't see you till Europe. If you want to join one of these chats, I do these chats quite often. Just hit the follow button. You'll get a notification. Um, hey, I really appreciate you contributing. I, I know usually I have an open chat and I'll have a question based off of open chat. Today I just wanted to share some updates and kind of share uh, food for thought. Food for thought. I'm just curious to know how bringing this video to Europe is going to be. So we're going to find out in six days' time. So uh, thanks, for, thanks for joining us. And uh, we'll, we'll talk to you guys a little bit later on. Uh, bye for now.